Welcome to another episode of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, and I'm here to bring you all the latest news in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. It's Monday, July 6, 2015, and let's get to it. The Windy City played the role of gracious host to the bodybuilding world this past weekend as another exciting rendition of Tim Gardner's IFBB Wings of Strength Chicago Pro took place. In men's bodybuilding, an outstanding John De La Rosa locked his first career victory and an invite back to the Mr. Olympia stage. The fitness division was won by a spectacular Fiona Harris, raising her win total to two on the year. In women's physique, Kira Newman made her triumphant return to the stage in spectacular fashion by bringing home a huge win. And in front of her hometown crowd, the rebel Michaela Soto won the Women's Physique Masters event, proving that no health issue, not even near death, can hold this woman down. Sydney Gillen crushed a deep field in figure, and in women's bodybuilding, an awesome Heli Trevino brought home top honors. In his storied career that includes three Arnold Classic and four Mr. Olympia titles, you'd think that Jay Cutler has collected just about every piece of hardware there is in bodybuilding. But at this weekend's West Coast Classic, Cutler took the stage and was honored by our friend Lonnie the Swami Teeper as the recipient of a Lifetime Achievement Award. After taking the stage to a standing ovation, Cutler went on to address the attentive crowd in classic Jay Cutler fashion, that is, with class and dignity. Cutler announced, quote, it's been a great honor to be an ambassador to the sport of bodybuilding over the years. If you'd like to check out Jay's speech and the full award ceremony, head over to npcnewsonline.com. Apparently, some people do want to be bodybuilders, and they do want to lift heavy ass weights. Just ask 2014 Amateur Olympia heavyweight champ Milan Sadik, who was spotted grinding out another brutal leg training session recently as he prepares for his 2016 pro debut. Sadik released some video in the gym powering through a set of grueling hack squats as he attempts to add some quality size to his legs. We haven't seen Sadik take the stage in over a year, but he looks to be doing his homework. According to my sources, expect to see him rolling out a new and improved package sometime early next season. Although his 2015 contest season might not be going exactly according to plan, former men's physique Olympia champ Mark Flex Anthony still appears to be grinding hard. Over the weekend, Anthony released some footage from a recent sparring session where he reminds everyone that while he may no longer hold the title, he's still the baddest man in men's physique. So far this season, Anthony has failed to crack the top five at either of his two contests. But with the picture at the top of the Olympia race looking murkier than ever, it still wouldn't come as a total shock to see him show up in Vegas and give some people a run for their money as he works his way up to battle for contention. With close to 11 weeks to go until he makes his third consecutive appearance on the Olympia stage, it looks like Matt Krishner is on track to bring the best of his many talents back to the Orleans Arena. Krishner released some footage from a recent chess training session where we see the three-time pro champion attacking the weights like a man possessed. Last year, Krishner had a disastrous performance on the Olympia stage that left a bad taste in his mouth. And a few weeks from now, he'll be looking to make his return with a vengeance and remind everyone why he should still be considered one of the best physique athletes in the sport. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out ironmaglabs.com today. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.